so far here. It was raining a little bit earlier on, but uh, the rain is away, and we're off here at the Stadium East Field, Kingston College. will be hoping to do good business here. There's Jamal Pusey, just rubbed up the ball, and uh, will get the throw in for his team. It's interesting that we're watching the early stage to see if we see that intensity from the Purples today. Um, the fact that they've been comfortable so far. Um, we want to see if they, there's any sign. You've uh, seen this team have a really good start this season. 49 goals they've scored so far and they haven't conceded. Wonder if they can get the 50th goal in this game. It's Ramari Morrison who has three goals to his name so far with a corner kick. And it's not a bad looking one at all. And uh, it uh, goes behind for a goal kick. Uh, it looks like he was um, aiming for the far post, just overhit it a little bit. But the breeze yeah. was with him for a bit, so probably just kicked a little bit too hard, yeah? And it's early in the game, yeah, so he, he, he will now have to measure his approach when he hits the ball with the wind favouring the Jamaica College team or in the back of the Jamaica College team. Like I said earlier, it's not it's not surprising. It's not new to the Kinson College team to start early, start very strong in the competition. It's whether or not they can take it all the way. More defending with the traditional five at the back. But when they're attacking, of course, it's reverted to a, a back three, so to speak. Their wing backs, uh, they are allowed to do a lot of the running. And actually, they're the quickest on the team. Uh, Giovanni Martin, who has four goals in his name, and they're number 17, Carlton Thompson. I mean, it's not surprising in, in, in modern-day football, wing backs are seen as attacking players. They, they do a lot of, of running up and down, and they create a lot of chances for their team. So, I mean, that's, that's a good ploy by the Mona team. You know, one that they have been doing well. well let's see how they transition against Kingston College. Not a lot on the line in this game this afternoon. Of course, we did speak about the parameters so far. And that Kingston College, they have an outside chance of being the number one seed heading into the second round. That's if Jamaica College lose to a Kingston High later on. And not a lot of folks see that one happening. <laughs> um, I mean, as they say, anything can happen. But uh, there's still a lot in it that there's a lot of storylines that could be written here. Um, in that kids at college could lose for the first time or they could concede the very first goal of the season. So well, here's uh, Nathan Thomas looking to press. He finds Jamal Pusey with some space, looking for a decent delivery. And the keeper pretty comfortable in handling that one. There's not a lot of pressure on him. And um, it's it's evident in the early part of the game that Jamaica College um, will be exploiting a lot down the, the, the right side. Kingston College, sorry, will be exposing a lot down the right hand side. Um, I don't blame it, there are a couple of colleges in Jamaica, <laughs> including a few at the high school level. <laughs> so I think I've had hearings about me. <laughs> Kingston College has certainly gotten theirs because, as I said, they're, they're exposing down this right hand side. And that's what you get when you have a lot of the wing backs overlapping, they'll, lose a, they'll leave a lot of space in behind, and uh, they may look to exploit that. Mona High, they're defending pretty narrowly in the early stages of this one. Kingston College not having a lot of space in the middle of the park. And, uh, probably they may be pressed to go wide as the attack. But you see, Mona not committing a lot of players forward at all, and right now it's been the action is basically in Mona's half. Uh, basically, but, you could you could draw away with the the, the half that Kingston, Kingston College was given, but um, it, it's it's look like it's looking like it is. Uh, mirroring the, the game that was played in the first round. Kingston College were really dominant in that first half before Mona came into their own. Again, just Mona losing by goal to me. Let's see how they transition here. That's not a bad ball of field at all. It has to be handled at the back, but still not clear. Probably with Ewart, it's about the target though. Ewart with the effort. But you can see that Mona, they're not going to be just sitting idly and sitting back all the time. They did look good with the few players that they had going forward. Yes, they do, and it, it seems like the storyline today would be uh, a lot of possession for Kingston College and Mona looking to hit them on the counter. 
Just drag that one wide of the target though, the end result. Probably a tad disappointing for him. Did have the space and time to shoot as Onika Allen picks it up for Kingston College. Allen looking for some support, digs it inside the box. And not bad defending there by Mona, although it hasn't been cleared too far. And Mona still having some problems. Onika Allen, Allen with the effort and the keeper having to hold on in the second attempt. Yes, uh, Kingston College there showing their intent. Um, and uh, I do expect a lot of that in this game here, that this keeper will be busy. Um, well, here they come again, Kingston College. And it was Jackie Smith trying to get that wide outside. Now he tries to win the headlights with Onika Allen. And his first time effort was blocked on that occasion. And, uh, that one now is put into touch. Hi, Mona. And I'm not surprised that Mona is picked back. They, they came late and obviously probably using this first couple of minutes in the game to, to get warmed. Pusey. Priestley. Allen was sitting back there and the ball is going to be second best to get that one. Thomas picks it up once more. Good give and go. This one cleared inside and Smith trying to hit it first time and then the second attempt. And now a third attempt on target. No wide of the target. Nico Allen. That was a good attempt first by Smith. It, it, it really was on target and the defender did well to, to block that one. It was certainly on target. And um, Kingston College here, again, down that right side and really showing their intent here. Well, I didn't miss too far. Not far, he really dragged that one wide. Trayvon Reed. Almost got by the second defender there. But he would fix it up for Mona. It's very, very compact in the, in the middle of the park there. Amona making it very difficult for Kingston College to, to go through. He does pick up the foul. Good work there by Carlton Thompson. One of the players that I said that would have to do a lot of running and one of the speediest players in the Mona camp. And he was just tripped there. Speed getting a little bit of the uh, KC defender on that occasion. So it's a free kick to Mona High. And uh, they are putting a, a few bodies forward in and around the tempting area. I think they know that this is these are the situation that they get them into this game or ahead in this game. The, the free kicks, um, these are the, the things that they I'm sure they would have worked on. Well, this one is played in fact here and oh, that's right at the top of the flag. Hand gone up. Flag in Shemar Sims, who was there or thereabouts inside the penalty area. I'm not sure if you've got a, a touch on it, it but he was in an offside position anyway. Um, and then I don't think Kinson College want to give him much space inside there. that eight goals already to his name this season. It seems that when he's going to be a, a, alone a lot of times, as we can see, there's a lot of purple around him. He's going to have to do a lot of work on, on his own, but um, I'm pretty sure he's quite capable. Trayvon Reed at the back post. It's kept in play. It's with Thomas. Thomas looking for the space to shoot. Just ran away from him there. That first touch was not as crisp as he would want. And um, as such, didn't get his, his shot away. And because it's so crowded in the in the middle of the park there, in front of goal, um, the Kingston College uh, players up front are going to have to be cursed with their with their touch. Reed. Utilizing his speed here. 
does really well, Trayvon Reed. And uh, that delivery to the hands of goalkeeper Jabez Clegghorn. Who has a goal to his name, actually, Clegghorn, having scored from the penalty spot for Mona, I believe, in his match against Calabar. Well, today I think he's going to be, he's going to have to have his mind firmly set on, on, on defending. <laughs> he's, he's going to come on a lot of pressure from this Kingston College team. Actually, he scored a penalty against our dead high. It had to be our dead, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I did a beating stick of his group. Uh, don't push it. Here's music. <laughs> We're really trying to make use of the flanks in some college and provide better crosses inside the area. Morrison with the effort and that was charged down. We've seen a lot of black, uh, uh, shots from um, this Mona team here today. Yep. Um, I tell you, it's 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 as they're set up because there's so much body in front of goal and I think Jamaica College will have to use the flank as they have been doing but I'm not pretty sure a lot of quick passing in the middle of the park there um, a lot of one touch football to try and unlock this tight um, our compact defence here of this Mona team Kingston College, they have been quicker on the ball due to have the possession. And they've been pressing high up the field. Yeah. As you said, they've been taking Mona back. Um, I'm not surprised. I would be um, if the stats show that the possession is, is heavily, heavily in favour of, of, of Kingston College. They're bossing the play at the moment. Priestley sends this one long. Nico Allen. Well, Got the better of Carlton Thompson illegally there. Yeah, there's a tug on the on the on the jersey. And not even the, the free kick Amona can get out of their half. It's been really difficult for them. They don't have much to aim at up front. It's just Sims who is, is going to be busy. And he's going to have to stay alert because uh, when they win that football deep in their half, they're going to be looking for him. It's going to be very direct from Mona today. Thomas. They call him Conte. Finds Pusey. Pusey did sit inside the area, but no problem is there for Clegghorn. Thomas not only I suspect he plays like a country, but certainly looks the figure as well. <laughs> that may happen with the Kingston College defence today. They may have don't have a lot to do and so they may switch off from time to time. Yeah. That defender there was a simple ball to, to just bring on the controller to clear and he missed it. So the concentration level will have to be good for them today. Yeah, Boredom can be a killer in football. As uh, this board is played off to Shaquille Smith. It's not as a fast pace today, the game, and, and maybe it's, it's reflective of the fact that both these two teams are comfortable into the next round. Um, Kingston College certainly show the intent that they want to continue their winning ways. Pusey. He's seen a lot of the ball today. Now with Reed. Yeah. Good combination along the right flank. Kasim Pusey in the middle of the park sends it to Daniel Williams, who goes on a little run there on the left hand side. Williams using his pace to a good effect. Although the delivery left a lot to be desired there in the end. Priest decides to send it wide. Reed is there, wants to beat that defender, decides against it. Just Taps it up to Nathan Thomas, who does well. The ball inside the box. Mona should clear. There was an appeal for a handball there. Referee waving it off. Still with Priestley. Kingston College bossing it at the moment. Looking for their 50th goal this season as Williams again goes on his little trek. 
And again, the deliver not the best as it was blocked to the air, but he does get the throw for his team over on the far side, Daniel Williams. Now at the moment it only seems like it's going to be one team that is going to be scoring and it looks very likely that Kingston College will get that 50th goal shortly. A good move there. Oniko Allen pulls it across the area. Nobody there in purple. Smith, Smith was somewhere away from that one. And it's cleared again for a throw in. I mean, the, the, the added incentive of possibly going above their arch rival in Jamaica College in the rankings, um, for sure, Kinson College has enough incentive to want to continue their winning ways today. And they often say that it is the fans that win championship, and they've certainly shown that. If we were to go by that, then by sure, Kinson College is heavy favourite, or runaway favourites to win this Manning Cup title. The one they crave. Yeah, Kingston College box in the position was 66% so far, and that's not a surprise as Pusey again sends it long. It's too long. I'm surprised. I, I, I would have expected more. <laughs> Thought it was more than that. Um, but certainly, yeah, two thirds of the possession is not a surprise based on what we've seen here. The only chance has come for Mona um, is that free kick they got, which seems us offside. Bruce to take in the free kick. Go to traffic by himself. Maybe, maybe to, have, to have this game to become a contest, we probably need Jamaica College to score for Mona to decide. Chance on College, <laughs> gets the College to score so that they can um, have this Mona team become more adventurous because at the moment they are content with just playing in their own half. No, well, in order for this game to be better, Mona needs to score first, I think. <laughs> then we'll have a game on our hands, I believe. You want the Cardinals to go behind your crew, man. Yeah? Shamar Sims does well. Sims! Well, he just had one to aim for, right? Just one. Good shot to go keep with that one. And not a good execution. The yeah. ball went out and touched. Cross the line there before you could get the yeah before you could get the cross inside. Did the well to beat his marker though. And that magic thing has just been the second time that we've seen um, Mona get into the penalty era of Kingston College. Here is Jamari Morrison. Finds Nathan Thomas. That ball was a little bit too slight there for Nico Allen. I just love to see the Mona team um, show some ingenuity and creativity when they get on the football and try and make a pass out because they're just knocking it forward and it keeps coming back. Morrison showing his quality there up until the pass. One way traffic at the moment in this contest. Yeah, we could close, as I said earlier, we could close the half of uh, Jamaica, that the Kinson College defenders are in, and um, just play it in the Mona. But here is Sims. Yep, Shamar Sims, brought down. We kick the Mona. And this, is, uh, this, is, this is where we expect him to, to create things from these uh, free kicks. You should take your time in and setting up and getting something good out of these because the chances have been very few and far between for this Mona team. This one is sent inside the area. Oh, it's gone in! Would you believe it? That's Mona team. High! They have scored first! And it looks as if it's Carlton Thompson who sent that one inside! And Shadid Rodriguez could not get a hand on it. And it's, it's, it's Javonnie Martin, in fact, who sent that one in. And Mona lead by a goal to nil. 
And that, that was a good strike that is reminiscent of the, the strike that you were voting as your best goal. That was great execution. I don't think he would have hit that better if he had gone any left or right of that football. Then he, the keeper probably would have had something on it. But definitely great strike there. And you've got your wish, Donald. Um, the Mona team has scored first. So we look forward to seeing the game opening up, as you predicted. Trevoni Martin, that's his fifth goal this season. Mona High is number 12. And Kingston College, they have conceded for the first time this season. Here's Allen. Kingston College all of a sudden needing the equalizer now. And as you spoke earlier, um, this Mona team, you deploy their their wing backs or full backs as, as attackers they go up and down and it was one of those players, um, the left wing back that got the goal there. So already a storyline has been written and Donald Arba, I think some college conceding their first goal. They're getting the yellow card there for the infringement. Well, the figure that the free kick would have been probably the best route for Mona to go ahead in this contest or to get a goal in this contest because they really weren't attacking with ambition. Exactly, and as we yeah we mentioned earlier, that 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 seems their best rule, and that goal really now plays into the hands of um, Omona because they were packing it in the middle there, and they have enough incentive now to continue to make it very tight in the middle of the park. Sims, <laughs> you made sure that he came out of the way of that challenge, Carlton Thompson. <laughs> Anticipated that one. He kicked the ball away in disgust, and that's why he got the other card to my Morrison. That's, that's almost an insult to the wound because he's the one the, um, losing. So, Morrison, Onika Allen, Allen shot is blocked. Mona can do this all day, I suspect. <laughs> they did come here to do it, and the goal has certainly strengthened their resolve in that regard. Well, what is Kingston College made out of? That's the question now. Pusey wasn't paying attention to Martin's pass on that occasion. Priestley picks it up. It might be early, but it will definitely test their title credential. It will show if um, they have it this season because they've started strongly before and uh, have not gone on to win. So let's see. This is the first time they've gone behind. Let's see how they react. Well, here's Martin, and Martin shot is right at the target. They have the win in their favor in this first half, Kingston College. Reed, Trayvon Reed with the efforts, sorry. And the, the win behind them in this first half, Kingston College, probably wants to utilize it a little bit better. They seem not to have adjusted to it quite well. And uh, we've seen that's about the third shot. We've seen they've, they've dropped wide. Allen won't be able to get that. But Mona won't want to give Reed at that time and space because it won't take him a lot of effort for him to find the target. There's a lot of switching between Allen and Reed for Kingston College. Get back to that in just a moment as Mona coming forward through their goal scorer, Martin. Losing possession. Reed picks it up. Thomas. Allen. 
get rid of there. Think purple. It appears as if the goal scorer has switched uh, flanks because he was operating down Mona's right side. It's over on the left here. Thomas looking for the give and go with Morrison. And the keeper seeing that all the way. Connects. It's really proven to be difficult for uh, kids in college to go through the middle here. They need to show some creativity there. They need to play the football quicker when they get close to the Mona goal. So that's how they're going to really unlock this tight and contact defence. Cool conditions here at the Stadium East Field. Mona leading Kingston College by a goal to nil. This could be it's a digital money cup game. If Kingston College is a long way to go still, but if Kingston College are to look for any a silver lining in going behind or possibly um, losing this game, maybe it would be good for them going into the uh, second round so that um, maybe they don't go in that complacent thinking that they have it all their own way. Not much banging of those thing by the Kingston College supporters, not much to cheer out. Smith. Again intercepted well. Giovanni Martin. Cusy. Cusy sends this one inside the box. Headed away. Only as far as Trayvon Reed over the top. He had a lot of time and space there. And you expect a player of his quality and a player that is high on confidence to at least work the goalkeeper there. He had time and space. And he just put that one high over the bar. And again, um, that's a warning for these Amona uh, defense. They cannot give Reed that time and space. Almost seems like he was too close to the goal there with that attempt. Too comfortable, maybe. He has not had much to uh, work with so far. So, might have been caught by surprise by that chance that he has been given here. Ball from Pusey. Owen Yort. It's not happening for uh, Kingston College in the final third. And they're not as sharp as they normally are. And um, giving the ball away tends to break down once they get there. Looks like they've run out of ideas. And Donald Demona coach said he did do his work um, on this game. Kinson College team coming into this game. So far, so good. I think it says more about the Mona team than it does Kingston College. The fact that they are away to KC and they're leading by a goal to nil. And it does, it does. Um, they're not daunted by the task of facing this juggernaut of scoop of football team this season. Morrison does well. Morrison shot straight to the keeper. I think that could be Kinson Kanji's um, first shot on target. The advent of the goal, Mona playing a little bit more here. Um, they're putting a few passes together. Tuesday decides to go the other way on this occasion. Then 
Besides the pair to pass outside to Smith. Smith in cycle box looking for options. Smith speeds it across the face of goal. And again, more than a competent of players. They have been well organized in, in, in defense there. But if they were committing players forward, I don't think they'll be committing more now that they're in the lead, more than high. The fact that they're defending so deep, it does not give the Kingston College players much space in the end to run into. And the fast players, the wing players, are not having much room um, in behind the defense. I, I don't think um, Mona has defended a lot with their face to goal, their own goal, um, because of how deep they are they're defending. Martin just allowing that one to go into touch. Jamal Carr. The Collington Thompson plays it up here. Thompson with the give and go with Carl. Almost worked. Hmm. He hasn't ventured that far forward much in the game. So up there he didn't execute quite well. What Mona could be doing here is serving up what is possibly a, a blueprint as to how to to play against this um, Jamaica um, Kingston College team. It is it is working so far for them. And um, Pusey. Pusey trying to get by Martin. And does so Pusey. This pass again is blocked. Pusey again sends it wide, nods it down. Anika Allen trying to find Smith. And it's going to be a free kick to Mona High. Mr. Jones, the principal of Mona High, very much a backer of the football program at his institution. Yeah, of course, the parents not showing a lot of joy, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he's he's very happy inside with what's going on on the field. Who knows just how far they'll go, Bona High. Beautiful cast there, Thomas Reed. Delivering side to Smith, and the keeper should catch that comfortably. He does. And again, I, I, I don't think a lot of the, the squares going into the box from uh, this Kingston College team has managed to pick, top, pick out a uh, uh, Kingston College player. Um, so much Mona players in the box that it's so difficult for Kingston College to find their teammates with those squares. Not a bad ball. Martin on the run. Inside Aaron, not clear properly. Priestley is in the right position though. Jamar Morrison now on the right hand side, looking for options. Morrison taps it forward to Reed again. Not the best first touch by him. That has been uh, their downfall so far in the game. They, ha they have not been as crisp as they normally are when you get into the final third, this Kingston College team. Smith collecting that one deep. Allen, poor pass again. Mario Sims. Carlton Thompson. Ramon Orkel now at the back. <laughs> Almost gave it up.
one of the things that I, I, I've seen here now is that I, when Amona High does venture out and gets into the Kinson uh, College final third, I think when Kinson College win that ball back, they need to transition much quicker because I think they're moving a bit too slow in transition. Allen does well, but again another cross is blocked. A story of the first half. Pusey, second touch was poor. Sims, Sims, all alone at the moment, but he's going to get a couple of support, a couple of players in support. Just couldn't supply the pass to Mario Sims there. So Mario Sims. Reed. Good move by Reed. Reed! Not a bad save by the keeper. Suck a leg out. Here is with Williams. Williams is right of the target. And uh, really a misses there by Daniel Williams. In trying to strike that one from distance. But Reed, probably his best move of the first half there. Yes, this is his third time. Lucky he had hit too wide earlier. And you did say that it's not too long that he would probably get one on target. And he did there just now. Keeper had to parry that one. Stick a, a leg out. But interestingly, on that move, we did not see a lot of uh, Kingston College players getting into the box. And you want to have numbers up in attack, and especially with this Mona team defending so deep with numbers. Mona now a little bit patient. <laughs> Is there a foul there on Carlton Thompson? No, says the referee. Not much in it. Cusey. He's putting quite a few miles so far in this half. Reed gives it up. Martin on the run. Martin. Get some help. Ewart. Martin. It was a poor final pass there. <laughs> it was. Me and Martin must be very disappointed. Reed. Yeah, he has been inconsistent. So the passes like those shouldn't really go right. Not formula number 10. And another one goes, but even with those bad passes, I'm, I'm pretty sure that their possession stats would have been improved significantly in Mona's regard since the goal. I mean, they've, they've been putting some passes together and they're venturing further forward. Well, right, you've been in the coaching business for quite a few years with William Nibbett, particularly. Well, yeah, I, I, I did shout with William maybe two seasons ago, not really as the head coach. I was there assisting the current coach and Casman Williams. But um, a lot of my coaching has gone for Holland United in Trelawney and with the Trelawney Parish team. But I did work out with uh, William Nib two seasons ago, um, assisting Casman Williams. Here's KC. Not enough field. The shot is wide of the target. And a foot coming in from Jamar Morrison again. Looking to like his three goals this season. Again, with the win behind uh, the Kinson College team, they have not executed well in terms of their uh, shots on target. I'm pretty sure they have a lot more of target than they do have on target. They need to make the adjustment to get back into this one in the remaining five minutes. Onika Allen. Oh, beautiful start! That's, good. That's a fabulous goal! Onika Allen! Oh! That 
was just brilliantly done by Kingston Colleges number nine, who gets in his tenth of the season. And Casey back level with Mona. It's one one. That's a beautiful goal there. That's good skill shown by Allen there. And comes inside, and that was a, a good finish. It's not a simple finish there. The goalkeeper had no chance for that one. Absolutely no chance. And again, it came from the right side, and that's where a Kingston College has been penetrating, has been having most of their attacks. That was a really good finish. It really was by Bobby Allen. So much so for Mona having a blueprint. <laughs> the centers were standoffish though inside the area. The one rear shot that we didn't see blocked. <laughs> exactly. Um, there's too much room again for the for the player, and they should they should know that. I mean, ha um, Allen has been very good all season, as you say, it's tenth of the season. And you don't want to give good players time and space; they'll hurt you. And that was a staggering 50 goal for the season for this uh, Kingston College team. Cusey gives up possession. What can Mona do with this attack? Oh, that's a late challenge there. Daniel Williams using his size and power to in effect <laughs> but he's a hard worker along that left flank Casey's number two just too much physical for the referees like him Casey Casey Morrison not quite turning on the dime on that occasion. Martin. Morrison wins it and tries to do something really ambitious in beating his his, his defender while he was on the ground. <laughs> Luckily, oh, his team came away with the possession. It was that messy life he tried. Good moment here. Smith, Williams, Williams, ball inside to Allen, couldn't quite control it, Thomas, shot is blocked, Morrison wins it back, Morrison, still Morrison, Allen, and that Mona, they can clear. But that was much better from Kingston College, uh, moving the ball a bit quicker in the final third, and having a lot of link up plays there. So triangles were well formed just now. Reed does well, and it is Pusey. That had a lot of pace behind it. Not bad. But it was like an arrow straight to Cleghorn. Well done. And with the wind in his back, that added much more to the velocity there. So now Sims get no clip to the after the challenge. Front playing deeper and deeper as the game has progressed. Yes. Hasn't been getting a lot of service, that's the issue. <laughs> Just come deeper for it. They always like having the ball at their feet, these front players, and if they don't get it, then they will venture. They want to be in the game. That's how they stay in touch. Oh, Allen does really well along that left hand side. Finds Morrison. Morrison now to Thomas. He has some space to work with. Thomas with the shot. Well, he did work with the space, didn't he? He's way wide of the target. <laughs> <laughs> he gave himself more space with that shot. 
I was about to say that Kingston College, you know, College really turned him on the stars, but that was no start at all. That was a poor execution there. And it really didn't do justice to the build-up. Reed. Hughes with some space to work with has Reed for company. Slides it to Reed. Reed. Trayvon Reed. That's a poor cross. No, you thought that was a cross. <laughs> <laughs> you see what's catching practice? Williams wins it. He's trying to find Smith, and again, poor Smith not getting service. <laughs> That's the end of, of the first half. And it's not a bad match, this this one between Kingston College and Mona. It's uh, Giovanni Martin opened the scoring for Mona. And uh, Nico Allen getting the equalizer for Kingston College. And uh, London Bernard will be pleased that his team fought back in this one. But at the end of the first 45, Kingston College won. Mona High won. The team's on left picking heading into the break. I'm with Cleveland Hibberts, assistant coach of Mona High. You got that beautiful goal by Giovanni, but you just couldn't hold on to the lead. What happened? What happened? It's an error, a blunder, putting into the center off. What the the, uh, the foul was attacking and they are backing off, so it cost us the goal. But second half, we know what to do about it. What are you going to do about that? How do you plan on getting back into this game? We're already in the game. It's just to finish off the game. We're not getting back. We're already in the game. And this is just a start. That's the first half. That is all in the back. So we're going to have to think about coming forward now and start backing up. We're giving them too much. It's like players showing KC too much respect around the back half. So we have to do some homework now and go and carry it for the second half. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Raymond Watson, the man who is always smiling, assistant coach of Kingston College. Um, how pleased were you with that goal from Okina Allen? Anipa Allen. Anipa. I was very pleased with it, but actually, thanks to Mona, we gave them a goal, and as you saw, they gave us back a goal, because if I was the coach of Mona, I would be very upset with my defender, just like oh, my goalkeeper. I think I may have to check his registration to see if he's registered the case here to Mona. Because your defense was breached for the first time in this season. Obviously, you would have wanted that record to go on. Yes, I was definitely counting on it, but goalkeeper, I'll have a word with him when I go across. But I heard the Mona coach saying that he's in the game and whatever. Um, second half, you'll see something different. I promise him that. Thank you, Raymond. Thank you very much. All right, it's a battle of words between the assistant coaches. We are at Stadium East. It is group B action between Mona High and Kingston College, and both teams are tied. One all at the halftime break. Welcome back to the Stadium East field. For this uh, Group B encounter in Issa, a uh, sell manic of action, Kingston College against Mona High, and we are 1-1 here at the break. And it wasn't a bad first half. In fact, as we take a look at the water halftime highlights, uh, Kingston College had the majority of the possession in this one, and they had quite a few chances, but Mona High actually defended pretty stubbornly as uh, this one was sent inside, and it's one of the many uh, shots that were charged down. And the resulting effort there by Onika Allen was by the target, but Kingston College, they were pressing most of that the half. In fact, they dominated the possession, but uh, they just couldn't breach uh, Mona in the early st stages of this one. See the infringement there? And uh, look at this one. <laughs> that was a brilliant there by Giovanni Martin, although Janine Rodriguez, not sure what happened there, reacted really late and was beaten, but Mona, they didn't mind that one at all. And Kingston College, they kept building all the way, and that effort from uh, Trayvon Reed, wide of the target, not a bad turn there by him. 
was a little bit inconsistent in that first half, but when he's on song, he really is on song. That's his effort again, that's over the crossbar. Ball just bouncing up on him, and he just couldn't keep that down. A lot of it would be difficult for Reed to keep that one down, and uh, tying it in the end. Reed, well, he was all over the place in that first half as he fired an effort that was saved by Cleghorn. Was sticking out his right boot here and denying Kingston College's number 10. And uh, Kingston College, they kept on pressing. And again, another opportunity here. Allen doing real well. Well, look at this. That's a beautiful finish by Onika Allen in the 41st minute of play. Just collecting the ball here. Uh, catching the rebound, getting by a couple of defenders and move. And then again, cuts it back. And then got the space to just release that shot. And what a shot it was. So Nico Allen on fire. That's his 10th goal this season. And he would have been pleased with that effort. Kingston College back level in this one at one apiece. The second half is about to begin. And I was, well, it was interesting hearing the coaches at the heart. I mean, about the assistant coaches speaking about what was to come in the second half. So based on that alone, what they said, huh? I'm actually looking forward to the second half, which begins now. I'm happy I'm here and not in the country. <laughs> Hold up. Send this one down as they are the ones who will be kicking towards the hills now. Uh, Kingston College will be kicking towards the Caribbean Sea and Kingston Harbour. The sun has appeared out of, what, out of nowhere almost. So maybe it's reflecting of what we are going to get this half. Yeah, if we are seeing the action, that would help. Here's Mona. Again, trying to go down on that left hand side. One of the assistant coach saying that he showed his team and showed so Kingston College a little bit too much respect in the first half. Yes. I guess I guess I'd have to agree with him, but I mean, were they allowed by Kingston College? That's the question. I think based on their setup, they, they definitely showed a lot of respect. They gave up one half of the field to to Kingston College. And even on the goal that was scored, there was some warning sign before um, that goal was scored. Reed had a similar move down that flank, and the goalkeeper stuck out a leg to block it. And the goal was in similar fashion. So definitely too much time and space were given by them. Already you see Mona pressing a little bit higher in the second half. Let's see what they can do in transition now. They have a few players up. Shot taken is charged down. Well, there is some ambition that we did see a lot of in the first half. Mario Sims with the effort on that occasion. Hope it doesn't cost them defensively. At least they would be hoping that it doesn't cost them defensively as Trayvon Reed is on it. Does the give and go. Reed still with it. Reed with the shot as the keeper behind it all the way. Trayvon. Reed is getting closer in the first half. He had a few shots that went wide. And he's hitting the target now. This is a good sign for for Kingston College. And so ominous for this Mona team. They cannot afford to give him that time and space. No problems there. For Edmondson, it's free kick for his team. It seems he's holding on to him. Donnie Williams now for Kingston College. Allen. Kasim Priestley now. Well done. Thomas. Williams outside. Right, so about the fact that Kingston College, they have a chance of being number one seed if Jamaica College lost to Kingston High. Just to tell you that JC leads Kingston High by four goals to nil. And JC. So, so JC will be the number one seed heading into the second round of the competition. And regardless of the result here, Kingston College would be. Second, 
So JC leads kicks and high by four girls to nil in first half action. But Excelsior, by the way, leading St. Mary's College by three goals to nil after 28 minutes. And Excelsior, they have an opportunity to actually be in the top eight, which would be the stronger half of the draw in the Manning Cup with a big victory this afternoon. So some, still some shuffling taking place yeah. in the seeding. Yeah. And definitely Jamaica College not relinquishing their number one spot to Kingston College quite easily. And one more to Excelsior score there. They lead at St. Mary's College by four goals in there. Long ball if you're looking for Trayvon Reed. Got a touch on it, but nothing that will affect the keeper too much. Clayborn. Already based on the action of the, the keeper kick on there, you can see that they're quite comfortable. Williams. The referee there a little quick with his whistle there. The advantage was with Kingston College. Keeper. One was a little too straight, he needed that more diagonal. This could be interesting with Rodriguez commanding this area. And uh, Shamar Sims goes down. And he's going to get some attention from the bench. Mm -hmm. He has been. We have news out of St. Anne. Ocho Rios leading Brownstown by a goal to nil at Drax Hall. And that's an interesting scoreline. If, if other results uh, go against uh, Brownstown, then they could find themselves dropping from the top of the zone to third place. <laughs> yeah. Amico Allen with a nice turn. Second touch wasn't the best though. The defender doing really well. It should be a throw to Kingston College. Or it should be a throw to Mona, actually. But it's actually gone the way of Kingston College. I think it might have just touched the fabric of the Mona High. Yeah. Uh, must have been a very thick fabric. <laughs> <laughs> Williams on it. 4KC. And again, pretty much what we saw in the first half with the, the balls into the box from uh, Kingston College. Not accurate enough, not picking out their players. Mario Sims. Oh, Mario Sims. Again, doing just a little bit too much. Lost the ball. <laughs> showing off his skills there because um, and you get that sometimes when players have not had a lot of the football because he's been alone up there so when he does get it he tends sometimes to overdo it it's gotten a little bit scrappy here Well, not a whistle on the play. The three has gone across to the motor bench. 
It's a Monclerc who's down. Something is quite interesting there for you, you know, on the bench. St. George's College leading Tarrant by a goal to nil after some important minutes in man of action as well. And we're yet to see what the assistant coach has predicted for the second half. Um, it's not in that. Football restarts finally. I'm getting a lot of cool amount of activity here in the second half. Here's Donald Williams. Nathan Thomas now. Can't get that one through, but Smith <laughs> just lost it there. He's had a quiet game, by any standard. It's been very difficult. I mean, uh, the best players would definitely have it difficult today. It's been packed in the middle, right in front of goal. I think the Mona coach has gone right back to basic, where they say the danger zone is right down the center, and he's decided to, to protect that area at all costs. Vincent College are going to have to just move this ball about a bit more, show more patience, bring pull these players out of position a lot more. And there's not a lot that Amona has committed um, up front, so they can, with Kinston College, uh, commit a lot more in, in going forward. Reed sends it across and does to Smith! The save by Clayhorn, and it's not in behind. For a corner kick, well, Smith finally getting good service inside the box, but he just couldn't beat Clayhorn with that effort. I might have been surprised that he got to win because it has not been done so all game long. Uh, but I was just about to say, look, there's only one player, um, Kingston College player in the box, and, and, uh, and I was just remonstrating they need to get more players in there. But that was a good a ball in the box there. Can they provide another decent delivery? No. But Casey still, they have the possession. This ball is put inside the area. Mona clearing it as far as Nathan Thomas. Thomas forced to go further back to Tremaine Simpson. Thomas gives it up. Mona, they can't counter. Goal played up field. And, uh, Referee has put it for a goal kick. That was a very good interception there, Sam Thompson. Very good there, good defensive work. Timed his tackle quite well. Oh, that's a lovely ball played through. It's Smith again, delight, denied by Cleghorn. That's good goalkeeping there. He anticipated quite well. And smothered that attempt on his goal.
Mona in transition. Trying to bring an attack going and they do have players forward. Just played a little bit too much in the attacking third. And here's Kingston College as they go the other way through for Nico Allen. Allen. Uh, couldn't beat his marker there. That was a real opportunity here for Kingston College because for the first time in a long while they have had numbers up um, in the attacking third and just could not make it tell. Mona, that beautiful football here almost got through. Why do they look so good when they attack in numbers? Why don't they do it more often? Mona High. And I, I wonder there if Mario Sims felt he was offside, which is why when the ball was played into him, he... I was sure shame. that he was offside, which is why I didn't go for that one. It's good. Good awareness by him. But Mona showing good sign here, and maybe the assistant coach was right. They would come out and play. And then the Costa Cup, Dintel leads Yotan by a goal to nil thanks to Tevin Cheese. He'll make that 2 0. Martin Beach has scored as uh, this one sent inside the area. And Smith almost got through. It's a good defensive head again because that one was aiming for the head. Here's Casey again. Not a bad delivery. Headed away once more. Williams on that right hand side now for Casey. Ball has come as far as Pusey. Pusey. His effort is high. And they took a deflection actually. Yes, that bailed him out. I don't think even without the deflection that was going to be on target. <laughs> yeah, I think it was probably a slight deflection. <laughs> We're past the hour mark in this one. We're seeing two goals. Well, the shot was off with both teams making it through to the next round. We stepped a little bit more, but the rankings. Here's a corner kick at the back post. Heads go up. Morrison is back there. Two players down inside the area. I think it should. It's a head injury, so the referee should start to play, which he, which he does now. Lately. Yeah. Both players will get some attention. And both of them going for the header. And you wouldn't see that in the first half where a lot of the players reaching and trying to get some, some water in their system. But the sun has come out in all its glory. And the second half has been a lot more hot and humid. The magic spray is out. It's really amazing what that spray does. <laughs> I'm actually amazed too. <laughs> I think what happened there with if you look at that goal, the goal keeper really his positioning was was bad to start with it's easier to run forward than to go back and i think he had given up too much of the goal behind him and was too far forward well Giovanni martin didn't mind that at all and then this finish by onika allen just to give himself space was just brilliant <laughs> the defenders were left for dead I mean, I could watch that that yeah <laughs> over and over again and you see that on the international stage and you would you would hear them go on and on over that that was a really good goal I mean, that's the thing where they say they turn a the defender inside out. <laughs> I said that they probably could have been closer to him. But come on, you probably didn't expect that to go by two defenders. No, I mean, not the shot. Not based on what we saw earlier in the first half, where most every shot is blocked. Yes, and even the one similar to that one, where I, I think it was 
Reed who got the shot off that the keeper parried with his legs. It was very similar to that. So I think he hit with hope and it was good execution. Take nothing away. Harry Rogers has come on to replace Shaquille Smith. And let's see what he brings to the table for this KC team. Already tries to get into the action, of course. Very much the middle distance runner, Harry Rogers. Coming from the continent of Africa. He has done well for Kingston College at the National High School Track and Field Championships. As well, of course, at the Digital Grand Prix Series. But, uh, he is trying to make a name in football this season for Kingston College. No problems there for Rodriguez on that occasion. Balls it out immediately to Trayvon Reed. As Williams to his left, finds Daniel Williams. Rogers is calling for it. Rogers is there! Oh, what a mark! By the little African! Rogers coming on a mere minute ago. Ends up inside the area and sends Kingston College ahead. They lead by two goals to one. I think he's doing exactly what he didn't see a lot from the Kingston College players, really gambling and going inside that box. That was a piece of a pass inside there. He cut every defender out of it. And um, that's a, a stroke of masterclass there in terms of the substitution. And he has doubled the lead here for Kingston College. And you were, you were demonstrating that he, he does well at track and field. Well, he's shown that he has it in, in football. And you seem both to live in very proud of that one too. Well, in middle distance and long distance running, I can tell you that you need space to operate. And he did find the space inside the box to just get there ahead of the defender. And it was a simple finish by him. And what a mark for young Ari Rogers there. It's not surprising too that Mona conceded with that setup because in the first half they were very deep. They didn't have a lot of space in behind. It was possibly one of the first times that they had to defend with their face to their own goal and it cost them so the fact that they've opened up somewhat has cost them dearly in this contest here is again oh the boy can play Kingston College streaming forward look at the speed send across the read Reed tucks inside and got to Rogers! Fabulous save by Clickhorn! That's what you call, he's, he's definitely a perfect example of what you call a super sub. And I, I'm wondering if he's really a, a long distance runner. He's, he's moving with so much pace. Bring on the style Kingston College if you can. You we'll have a superstar up front now. The assistant coach did a did a new to that that come watch them second half, it'll be a totally different show. Reed looking for that little bit of space, finds Thomas. Back to Reed, he has a little space there, dinks it forward, and it was too far ahead of Rogers and the keeper was well aware on that occasion, take one and he collects easily. I really love the energy of Rogers. He's running into those spaces. And, and, and that's a good sign from a, an attacking player. You have to identify. And Mona have not given up a lot of space. It's been very compact. But he has found a lot of space since coming on. Casey will start again from the back. Williams has done really well in this match. Almost looks a little winded now. <laughs> in, the, in the first half, you would have been having a sprint along the left hand side, the left back. Yeah, you may not need to go too much forward with Rogers on the field. Just get it to his midfield players to serve Rogers. You can just see the dynamic just changing here. Since the arrival of Rogers, the play has stopped again because, oh yeah, there's a substitution happening. Over on the far side, Romario Harris is on now for Mario Sims. Let's see if um, he can have, it's a tough act to equal or follow if he could come on and create the same effect that Rogers has done for Kingston College. Oh, 
really when you have a player like that in your army coming off the bench to see if you're going to be champions your bench has to be as strong as what you have in the park and certainly Rogers has lifted the quality of this Kingston College team. And he has the pace as well. And stamina, so I'm expecting him to run all, <laughs> all this second half. <laughs> In the middle of this stretch running. So there's no letting up for Smona defensive line. None of the kids of college, they have the likes of Renata Campbell and Renata Robinson on the bench. And another player by the name of Atkinson, who is really speedy and skillful. I'm surprised that he's not involved as much. Um, he has been there. He's one of the players that was there last season mm -hmm. and did really well. So I'm, I'm expecting him to play some part today and uh, to keep him fresh and alive. But I think Coach Bernard is ensuring that all his, his strikers know that the pressure is on and that's a way to keep them on their toes. Here's Anita Allen. Allen. Looking to find Rogers again, and it's headed behind for a corner kick to Kingston College. I'm telling you, the boy Rogers can find space. That, that's about football intelligence. The fact that he can anticipate and run into those spaces and surprise defenders, because as an attacking player, you want to be able to surprise defenders. And I'm, I'm sure. Since he's been on, I'm not sure if he has taken two consecutive touches on the ball, no. Rogers. Here's the corner kick for Kingston College. That's not a bad delivery at all. It's headed away. It was in the right place at the right time was Shana Afi Smith. And here's Mona trying to go the other way, but just losing steam there in the end. You see Mona now committing two players up front. They might have had a switch in their system because now we, we see two strikers trying to get back into this game. And it seems like it's going to take some team outside of this group to halt the a perfect start from Kingston College. JC, stubborn defending there. Allen. Morrison. Morrison, why did the target? <laughs> he got carried away there with the amount of space that he was afforded. But Rogers was running to his right, and there was another player to his left. He had options. Well, to be honest, Rogers was taking a couple of defenders with him, which was why Morrison had the space to shoot. So probably he saw that and decided to take the shot himself. But his execution was yes, was that, poor. that was poor. <laughs> that was poor. But he probably would have been surprised with the gap opening up, which is why he took the shot here. And, and as you pointed out, that uh, again goes to the the, the footballing brain of of, of of Rogers. He his movement doesn't necessarily mean that he has to get the ball, but as you said, he took the defenders with him, and there was a huge gulf of space. Well, Casey making another sub, like a double I sub. Think. Just. To We'll confirm to you a little bit because if Renata Campbell is one of them. Yep, yeah, the number eight is on for Kingston College. I'm going to tell you who was the second sub in a little while. Williams. Oh, it, yeah. I think it was. I think it was Ronaldo Robinson who was on. Another bad turn by Morrison. And Campbell's first attempt. Hi. Seems that Dwayne Atkinson is also on the park. 
Yes, it is. There's a lot of firepower. There's a lot of firepower on now for Kingston College. Williams. No follow there for play power. Oh, not really. He has a got this up second attempt. And now we can see why Williams has not gone forward much this second half. He's he's struggling to get back. Well, to be honest, he was also struggling to go up. <laughs> he made up for the pass early. He does. <laughs> it's, it's not in up now to Ronaldo Robinson. Robinson turns, being tucked back, but also played back to Williams and not on a fall behind that cross by Williams. I could tell before that he was not going to take two touches on that one. <laughs> Almost gone through there. Good intention there to have to defend that out. Kasim Priestley now. Julian Simpson recovers. Tell you what, Williams has a strong heart. And again, that's a good pass. It is a lovely ball from Williams to Robinson. Robinson puts it across and Claiborne drops it. And from point blank range, almost. I think there was a, a block in the end, almost on the line as Morrison let fly. So the come team time. Rogers. Yeah, yeah Rogers on the ball. Provides the ball inside to Morrison. Well, I'm sure he can't even explain what happened there. Must be surprised he's looking down at the turf, but I think that's what they do, and there's nothing else that could explain. The surface out there is, is has been perfect and is still. So, mm. I think he didn't open his body up enough. You can you can't kick beyond the hip region there, and he didn't open enough, and it has closed his body. So there's no way he's going to get that one untied. That was Morrison's attempt there. That was charged down. The miss by Jamari Morrison earlier was pretty much science fiction there. <laughs> really can't explain what took place. As a, another change is being made by Mona High. When a couple of years back, you know, Messi scored a goal and they said it was scientifically impossible. Are you saying this miss? It's <laughs> almost <laughs> scientifically impossible. <laughs> I'm saying that the calculation will be difficult <laughs> if you're trying to work out exactly what happened there. Mm -hmm. Only he could explain that one. Oh, man, Morrison just came on for Mona. Hi. Oh, that's good movement here. And he's gone down inside the box and the rest three points for a goal kick. I think he ran out of play before. Yeah. He was just looking to buy something there. Robinson. Williams who kept running. <laughs> this confirmed that Arman Armani Morris has come on for Mona. Ronaldo Robinson. Yes, that over the bar. Definitely was going after goal there. I think he was trying to do what the Mona player did to his goalkeeper in the first half. He's definitely content as well through the game. Definitely. He's covered a lot of ground. I don't think there's a blade of grass out there that has not has his input on it. Well, if Rogers manages to score another goal. And in a short time, he could yeah, <laughs> definitely snatch it. Because I said before that he has changed the dynamic. Definitely. The way Kingston College attacks. I think he, they go forward now knowing that there's always a outlet, there's always a runner, it's always an option. Campbell. 
needs a decent delivery. I think that needed a cutback because both both attackers from Kingston College just checked their run and so the ball went to the guy line. Oh, Morrison. Please <laughs> now. It's with Williams. Williams playing it over the head of Rogers. Davy couldn't get by Williams. Now he robs Williams. Davy looking for the return ball. Davy gets it. Don't have a lot of support to work with though. And Williams just gives him a, a nudge. <laughs> I think that's the most Williams could have done. <laughs> he wasn't going to get those side. And Wodeheim gets the throw. And the goal score coming off here for Mona. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Change made. Over on the far side. Martin leaving the play. Have Mullins coming in. Long throw by Mona. They're still not out of it. They're just a goal behind. And the Rogers going after this one for Kingston College. Oh boy, he has the speed. He does not get one support as yet. Rogers, somehow he gets by his marker. Harry Rogers, and he gets the point for his efforts. It was excellent work by him there. Didn't have a lot of support, but he tried to hold the play up until he got the support. Should love the footwork there. He didn't have much room as well. He was close to the guy and it's the goal now. He's a lively little player. It's what you call a live wire. He's certainly live in the, the proceeding here. Corner kick to Kingston College. Ball sent inside. The keeper comes out. Got, got a touch on it. Comes out as far as ready to Campbell. Campbell's effort deflected. It goes behind. Well, well, there was a deflection, but apparently it didn't come off a more player. That was a good shot. Yeah, that was that seam. I'd love to see it again. It looks like he was on target going to the far post. I guess his own player got in the way. It seems like his, his, his technique was good there. It was low and hard. Oh my goodness, he was stopped and pulled all over the place. <laughs> Finally got the call. Did then deal pin up? This is by all means necessary. <laughs> they don't have a Dwayne Martin out there to try another left footed effort from distance, but I'm sure Rodriguez is going to be sharper on his watch and goal. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he better be. <laughs> He's setting up the wall now. I guess the assistant coach did say he was going to have strong words with him, so let's see what that did. Well, it is going to be Pinnock himself who's going to be taking this for Mona. It's a bit more central, so. Let's see what can be done with this. The three man wall set up. And Pinnock drives this one, and Rodriguez had to put that over. Well, it was central in the free kick, and the kick itself was also central, and Rodriguez had no problems in touching that over the bar. I think he made it look a little bit more difficult than it was. He felt that wasn't, he didn't have enough pace on it, but he did what was necessary, got it over. No way he was taking that chance, I believe. <laughs> Well, an interesting question now that will be asked is uh, how much work Rodriguez would have gotten during the majority of this first round. It would have been the first time that Kingston College would have conceded in this first round. Not to mention the fact that there wouldn't have been a lot of shots on target as well. So he probably is a bit rusty here. Can you imagine? <laughs> Matt Rusty after home again? I guess that would be his, his excuse to the assistant coach when he went to him at half time and say, Look here, you gotta get to so coach, it's my first shot. <laughs> <laughs> if you want me to be a bit sharper and tell my defenders yeah, to give me more. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I can I can understand if that position was taken. Uh, Darnell Williams he has run himself to the ground here. 
but I don't think he's going to be taken off anytime soon. <laughs> Although the captain, we're used to seeing him play in a left back position as well, so he can use the slot in that area. You now plays in the central defensive midfield, midfield position. I seen Priestley as this corner is sent inside the area. Along the way, Rogers picks it up. Rogers has some company. Couldn't quite find him, and Rogers was fouled in the process. And maybe that's what prevented him from having an excellent pass. The yellow card comes out and is flashed. I'm not sure if it was Pinnacle, but yes, it was Pinnacle with a late challenge. Yeah, he was late by a few minutes on that challenge. And Rogers would make any player late. Speed. <laughs> it's certainly going to be a good big trump card for Kingston College going forward in this competition. Imagine if he starts. Rogers. Rogers! Just needed that one to drop a little bit, needed a little bit more patient. patience as shown there. Um, he needed to get his knee over that one. He hit it just a bit too high. Just confirm that Delmi will pin up the yellow card there. We see Williams coming back on. You're right. He's not going to be hauled off this one. <laughs> and he's certainly a contender for the man of the match. Robinson. Robinson does really well. Ronaldo Robinson heading to the byline, pulls it across into the side netting. Yeah, a few seconds on the far side. Who would have made it short? That was good work from him down the, 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 the flank here. There's again Williams with the interception. I would have expected a little bit more from the Mona team, knowing that they're in the, the, the next round and that going behind, I'd love to see a little bit more um, expansiveness from them. They're trying to test their attacking play going into the next round. Right now, the way it looks, it's, it's just a matter of when Kingston College will score again. The fact that they are just trading by two goals to one also says something. I mean, they have been more easily dissected in the second half, to be honest with you. That's true. Here's another dissection. So that's put into touch. Based on the amount of shots that have been blocked and, 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 and the shots on target, I think the scoreline may just flatter Mona somewhat. And the execution, too, was a bit off from Kingston College in the first half. It could have been a lot more than two goals to one here. Atkinson. Pusius also had a really good game for Kingston College. Over on the right-hand side. Yes. In the right-back position. He was very busy in the first half. A lot of the, the plays that were threatening for Kingston College came through him as well as for Nico Allen as well. So we have a lot of contenders there. So we do have quite a few contenders in back. Now I'm coming from Kingston College. Not surprising. But we have to choose one. What a move here. That was Morrison dissecting all comers. Pusey sends this one long inside the area, not there properly. It's Rogers! <laughs> Aaron Rogers again has put this game beyond doubt. Super sub in every sense of the word for the famed purples who are 3 1 up on Mona. Who we're saying just now it's just a matter of when Kingston College would score. And Rogers answered that, and he had just made it difficult, made it difficult for us. We're talking about man of the match, and uh, we said uh, if Pusey would provide another assist, and he gets a second goal. <laughs> well, 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 I did say if he scored one more, he certainly would be in it. He has scored the winner, and then he has scored an additional one, the super sub, Harry Rogers. And, and, and what and a I, game he's had. I would go with him for sure. For man of the match. Definitely. <laughs> I mean, if he would be a close, close second. 
but definitely Rogers he's really brought life to this game he's and he's had about what two or three other chances as well just by exactly. the fact that he was able to find space inside the box his conversion rate must be very high 50 percent i think he might have had four shots on goal two score here's atkinson and rogers again on the end of this one oh he's really been dynamic got a knock to his face there referee saying it was accidental the goal just now was well taken. His first touch was impeccable as he took it down and then his second was like a volley in, a half volley. That was... That was a shot from distance from Pink. Very good goal there from Rogers. Just keep out doing himself. It was better than the first, I think. And I really liked the first. <laughs> <laughs> So as I tell you, that tells you a lot about this player. I think he's probably the shortest player on the pitch here. He's winning the header. Exactly. Nodding it to Morrison, who's really come alive in the second half as well. Jamari Morrison. Campbell sending it over to Pusey. Pusey on that right hand side. Robinson calls for it, gets it. Robinson looking for options. Finds Morrison. Pusey. Pusey heads to the byline. And uh, the cross is charged down. It's going to be a, a goal kick. Yep. Somehow somebody might have whispered something to Pusey that we have given the amount of match to Rogers. He's trying to say to us, <laughs> he deserves it. <laughs> but you spoke about Morrison coming alive. And that's what some players does to to others. I mean, they by being out there, they just bring others into the game. Yeah. And Rogers certainly has done that today. Yeah, he has made the team better. He really has, Harry Rogers. His movement off the ball would be a dream for his midfielders. Williams again doing well to find Atkinson. Atkinson cutting inside. A That's lovely, a lovely ball to Rogers who was offside. <laughs> nothing away from the pass. I think it was a peach of a pass. And uh, a lot of these Kingston College players are saying to coach, yes, you have your starting eleven, but he giving you enough to think about in a positive way. And they have played significantly better in the second half. Especially in the aftermath of all those changes. I think the, I think the assistant coach knew what was to come. When he said that in his interview at halftime, that he was going to show that Mona assistant coach that it was going to be up a notch. It has gone up several notches. We're almost into the second minute of time added on. It's definitely going to be a perfect start from Kingston College. Robinson, oh, good work by Ronaldo Robinson. Plays it inside and uh, almost there for Atkinson to mop up at the far post, but the keeper held on to it. The defender is down for Mona. Robinson made it look as if the defender was walking. It was like past him as if it's all you see. Both would run past persons who have had a head start on him. <laughs> I've really enjoyed the second half from Kingston College. Well done by Pusey. He's been impeccable in defence and in attack today. Because they always say commentators are biased towards the attacking play, so we tend to so like that in terms of yep that's the end of the match Kingston College with a win in the end over Mona 3-1 the final score and after Mona had taken the lead and Onika Allen had scored the equalizer Harry Rogers with two very good goals in the second half coming on as a super sub and his strikes proving to be the difference between the teams here at the Stadium East Field Final score, Kingston College 3, 
Mono by one. I think you're quite right there, Donald, in terms of the fact that early on in the game you said that you'd like Mona to score first in the game to come alive. You've been in this business long enough, I shouldn't doubt you. I mean, definitely, that's what occurred here today, and it's sort of um, spurred kids of college into life. They might have lost their perfect defensive record, but certainly uh, they, it looks ominous here for the other teams vying to lift this man in cup. And they seem a team intent on lifting this trophy this season. It has been uh, a good performance today from a team that has already qualified quite comfortably. But they show that there's no letting up. And if there's one thing that they have to show is that it's not going to be like you... As we take a look at the highlights in this one, and Mona, well, they had few chances in that first half as we see the challenge there, but then this goal by Martin, so Boney Martin with his fifth goal this season, it was a, a fabulous strike in the 20th minute, and Rodriguez unaware in goal, it seems, backpedaling and couldn't even get a touch, and then the equalizer would come from Kingston College and it's on Nico Allen. Look at this, wonderful stuff. To so find the space and then the shot. Four minutes from the end of the first half and uh, we did find the corner with a plumb there. Look at this, exceptional stuff. Dismissing the defenders who were swaying like dogs in the breeze there. Yep, it was. And uh, Kingston College with the equalizer there. And that's when Harry Rogers came on. And really, just about a minute afterwards, he was in the right place at the right time. Fabulous delivery there coming from Williams. And look at that finish. Rogers doing really well. And Williams that's was able to find the little African inside the box. That was a perfect touch point because that was his first touch of the football. Yeah, it was. It really was. And Rogers put it away from Jabez Clayhorn and that was Kingston College 2-1 in front and the third goal would come again Rogers it appears that he knows where to be at the right time Bam! making it 3-1 for Kingston College in the 88th minute and Rogers just placing it to the right of Clayhorn he was allowed the space inside the area and then he did put it away. Definitely, and it said the, the, the degree of difficulty on that one was very good. As uh, we see here, goal attempts 26. That's, that's, that's massive. That's an onslaught. Four on target. Mona had nine goal attempts, six on target. And the fouls pretty much shared. Mona a little bit more aggressive. One all as far as the other cards were concerned. Uh, Mona with the one offside, Kingston College with the four corners as opposed to one by Mona. Kingston College, of course, with the majority of the possession, that's 60%. That's massive. And then you look at, I mean, the goal attempts that suggest that Kingston College was either wasteful or not as clinical. But... Yep, the final score, though, is 3-1 in favor of Kingston College over Mona High. First maximum of the match today is the little African, as Donald likes to call him, Ari Rogers. He's from Uganda. Congratulations on your performance today. When you came out as a substitute, what were the instructions given to you? Well, um, of course, uh, we were uh, up against his um, on centre forward, so he just probably told me to, uh, to remain um, patient at centre forward. Now your first touch got you the goal. How do you feel about that? Well, that was a good uh, performance. I feel good about it. It was good for me. Finally, as a young student athlete, how do you manage to um, handle track and field, football, plus academics? Uh, well, I just uh, keep focused, uh, I get enough rest, stay graduated, uh, that's it, graduated. Well, we saw what you could do, what you can do on the football pitch today, but in your opinion, which one are you better at, track or football? I uh, football, I guess. All right. Congratulations, all the best. Thank you, Miss. MVP today, Ari Rogers of Kingston College. Joining me now is Alexander Martin, head coach of Mona High. Alexander, we Morgan, sorry, we saw a different Mona at halftime. You had the lead in the first half, but 
you considered two goals at halftime? What went wrong? Really, I don't know what really went, went wrong. We, we got a go-ahead goal and in the final moments. We a little laps by the defence and we lost 3-1 to a team which I think is the best schoolboy team in the country. So we are we don't, nothing to be ashamed. Now you're going ahead into the second round. Have you started to look at possible opponents based on the seeding? Yeah, before this match, <laughs> we were looking at it. So we're, we're just kind of choosing and choose. Hopefully we can get to another time. Thank you so much, Alexander Morgan. You're welcome. Man. All right, head coach of Mona High. Joining me now is Ludlow Bernard, head coach of Kingston College. Hurry in, Ludlow. First of all, congratulations on your win today. Um, the first goal you've conceded all season. How do you feel about that? I feel very bad about it. I mean, had it been a, a better one, I, I would not have complained. But I think we were very careless. Um, we were very careless. And that is the kind of lapse in concentration that we don't want. As they realized throughout the course of the game, they probably didn't get anything on target, um, which meant that we refocused and we re-energized our concentration and then we got three goals. Now, our commentators were saying that um, your goalkeeper, Chadine Rodriguez, maybe he was a bit match rusty. After all, this is the first goal that has been conceded. Do you agree? No, I wouldn't agree. Um, I think he got caught um, trying to organize the wing back and was unaware of his position in relation to the goal. I told him that he needed to be in his position and then, and then give the instruction. So that is lessons learned. Our MVP today, Ari Rogers, he came on and made such a difference. He was a beauty to watch. Um, tell us about him. Where where have you been hiding him? I haven't been hiding him. I've probably, um, I've probably told everybody about him in, in prior conversations. But um, he's, a, he's a live wire. And what you he, what he got from him today is exactly what we expected. It was a... Uh, it was a no-brainer to bring him on as at that time. We were creating the opportunities and we just needed somebody to just be in the position. Unfortunately, the other guys who were out there weren't doing a good job. I was sure that this was our time. Finally, the Mona coach said he was beaten by the best team in the competition this season. As you look ahead to the second round, what are the plans? Well, probably I'm flattered by that coming, but I still think we have some quite some way to go. When I look at this game, there were quite a few errors being made. Um, I was very uncomfortable with certain things that were taking place at the back, and um, we need to correct them. All in all, it seems to me that the concentration level probably could be due to some very hectic training sessions in the course of this week, so I'd have to find a way for them to recover properly so that they can re-energize for the upcoming games. I know I said final question, but have you look, been looking at possible opponents in the next round? It's possible that uh, we could be encountering Haile Silas. Um, it should be a good matchup. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure, Ludlow. Thank you very much for your time. All right, Ludlow Bernard, their head coach of Kingston College.